Hey guys, and welcome to the guide. In this episode, we are talking about the American desperation. And what, what desperation is that? That's Americans want and need to get famous. Because there's like this belief that like once you're famous, then all the doors of the world open up to you, and you can pretty much get away with, with what you want, and then you get to do whatever the hell you want. And the rest of your life is just a cakewalk, right? So in America, there is a... There's a desperate, there's there's a need, there's a desperation for people to become famous, because they th people think once you become famous, then like th the doors just open up to you and everything's humpty dory, and I mean look at Hollywood actors, you know Hollywood people for instance, like what do they do? They spend a month or two filming a movie, what and then the I rest of the year they just sit around and they do whatever the hell they want to, and they get away with whatever the hell they want to, and I still wonder, I want to know how. Hollywood actors and actresses got to the point of being pretty much the equivalent of, like, ancient Greek mythological gods in America, you know? Like, pretty much that, that that's how it is. Like, you got Brad Pitt. He's kind of like Zeus. Um, it's just like, how did they pull this off? How did they get us, they, they like, tricked us into doing this? And as a result, like, everybody else in America wants to become famous because... They think once they become famous, then the rest of their life is just a cakewalk. And YouTube's having this problem right now, too. Like, that, that, that's one of the problems with YouTube right now. It's like, when YouTube first started off, and people were just making videos for fun, and they were just, like, having a good time with it, this wasn't a big deal. Then all of a sudden, here comes these YouTube stars, right? And, like, they're making millions of dollars a year off of making, like, you know, just stupid videos. You know, you, you, they pump out, you know, a five-minute long video once a week. And th they're making millions of dollars of this. Like, meanwhile, all the rest of us Americans are looking at them, myself included. Because I ain't gonna lie, when I first got into YouTube, it was about the money. And it's still partially about the money, okay? It's just, like, I've spent so much time learning how to make these stupid videos. That at this point in time, I'm like, well, screw it. You know what? I'm pretty good at it. I can pull it out of my ass, whatever, at this point in time. <laughs> but, at the same time, you know, when we started, when we Americans started watching and seeing YouTubers making millions of dollars, then of course everybody else jumps onto the YouTube bandwagon. That, that's the point where YouTube kind of, it, it became less cool. Because, instead of people just showing up, put making cool videos, producing them because they enjoy making videos, then all of a sudden it just became about the money because they saw some YouTubers making a crap ton of money off of making stupid videos and then they're like well if he can do it then I can do it and then that that's really one of YouTube's biggest problems right now is there's just a whole bunch of people that th they're just making videos because they want money now it's not because they enjoy making videos I, I make videos nowadays because this is how I deal with like it's become a hobby and it's like how I deal with society that's the main reason I keep making stupid videos it's like it's, it's just how I deal with like stupid crap that I see in the world <laughs> so that's the main reason I keep making stupid videos okay but that's become like YouTube's problem like you know YouTube that they went on a purging spree against you know channels that like focus on guns which is YouTube's right that, that it's their platform, they can do whatever they want with it. If, if YouTube decides one day, you know what, we're tired of you, you're gone. If they do that to me, okay, what am I going to do? Go cry up a storm? And like, you know, go cry a river about it? No, it's not going to do me any good. Like, it's their platform. They can decide whoever wants to publish on their platform and who what? they don't want to. They, like, it's, it's completely and totally up to them. Now, do I agree with it 100% of the time? Not really. I mean, guns are guns. I mean, if they really wanted to do some good, they should, like, get rid of all, like, the war game videos, you know? But that, that I, I would say video games and, like, war games like Call of Duty and Battlefield probably have a more negative impact on a person's mindset than a gun does. <laughs> Because okay, you you get a gun, and you get you get taught the proper way of like to use the gun, then then you understand it. But if you just sit there and you just watch like Call of Duty videos, and you watch Battlefield videos where all you see is guns, just blazing away, being used to murder other people on screen, 
What's what's gonna have the more negative impact on a person's psyche? Watching somebody play a video game where they're just like murdering everybody, or watching somebody play with a gun in real life and like shooting at some targets. You know, like what's gonna have the more negative impact on somebody's psyche? I would say the per watching the person play the video game. Now, of course, I, I've I've uploaded videos of me running around playing video games and shooting people with guns too. So, like you know. I'm a hypocrite on that one, and uh, but uh, I'll I'll straight up admit it. You know, there's no shame in that. Uh, yeah, sure, I'm a hypocrite on that one. But whatever, it's Google's platform. It's YouTube. They can decide whoever they want, who they want to favor, and who they don't want to favor. It's completely and totally up to them. You can't. It, they own it. It's their platform. <laughs> there's no point in arguing about it. And unfortunately, somebody I guess went and is shooting up YouTube's headquarters right now. So like now YouTube, Google's gonna just go on a crazy purging spree. And you know, Hitchhiker, I got a couple gun videos. So if I just blip off the map magically, I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna be surprised. If I just blip off the map magically, I mean, my channel's not that big anyways. I'm not gonna be surprised. I'm like, yep, well, that's cause that guy went in and did a shooting spree in a YouTube headquarters right there. <laughs> And then there was that guy that shot the sheriff, right? Like, he was a YouTuber, apparently. Like, he was he was a little YouTuber, and I guess probably nobody was taking him seriously. So he was like, I'm gonna show you how serious I am. And then he got into a shootout with the sheriffs. Like, he was a YouTuber, and like, you know, th that just shows, like, the desperation of that people have to get famous. Because people think they get famous, then everything, you know, magically gets better. I mean, like... Girls will fucking become porn stars just because they think it'll get, make them famous. You know, they'll take that shot. They'll they'll go to that stupid casting couch and like with that creepy dude, and they'll take that shot because they're hoping if more, well, maybe if I strip and have sex, I'll get famous. And then what ends up happening is like everybody's like their friends are just like, oh shit, I know that girl, and then everything goes downhill from there. But. There's just a desperation in America to get famous because of, we think once you're famous, everything, everything's good and like everything is just taken care of. And it, oftentimes it doesn't work out like that. I, I mean, if it works out like that, awesome, good for you. But oftentimes it doesn't work out like that, and it, it's because like we see all these famous people and they don't do a damn thing. Like, they just, they, they get paid to sit around and be complete and total screw-offs the rest of their lives. And everybody else in America is looking at that, and they're like, I want to do that. I, I want to be like that. And it has a negative impact on society. Unfortunately, that's how it works. And, and I've heard, learned that the hard way. Like, just with my stupid little channel. I've learned that the stupid hard way, you know? Like, trying to get people to go out and just have fun making a video you know danger davy he's pretty good about it he, he's all for it like i'll be like hey i got this idea for a video you in and he's usually like yeah let's do it but like brother jay like i gotta bend over backwards for this guy okay like it's it's a royal pain in my own ass to try to get this guy to do something because like i gotta bend over backwards for him and then like we did the gun run video with the the lever action uh 30 30 and the damn thing broke because like he had this idea about how he was gonna jump over the ravine and stuff and then like it was his fucking idea but I take the blame for it like he completely and totally blamed me for the entire thing it, it was like no none of that was my fault that was all uh, his idea and I was just like really it, it, your idea was the reason the gun got broke this thing broke off of the gun and like it just came tumbling to the ground and it was our grandpa's gun so it did not look good in front of the family at all. And like, I I'm the one that got took the blame for it. And the entire time, the only thing he's thinking is, oh, this could make me, this could make me, this could make me famous if we do this just right. This could make me famous. The only time, because I heard him muttering it under his breath, right? So I, I kind of gave him the look about that. But like, th that, that was it. And then whenever the video completely fell apart and he broke the damn gun, who took the blame for it? I did. 
No responsibility on his side was taken. It was all my fault because I was the one that originally came up with the idea of the video. Because I was just like, hey, we'll start up here and then you can shoot and then you'll rappel down and then, you know, you'll go across the creek and it'll be cool. And then he was all like, no. What we're going to do is I'm going to repel down, and then I'm going to hook this rope up just right so I can just hop across the creek. And then whenever he hopped across the creek, the sling broke and the gun came tumbling down. But he didn't take no responsibility for that. That was all me right there. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, but even though, like, the part where the gun broke was his, his idea. But I'm the one that originally came up with the idea of the video, so, you know, it's all my fault. So I'm the one that took the heat for that, and then I ended up paying for a replacement stock because I felt bad and I asked him hey do you want to go halves on this replacement stock for Christmas and he was like no 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 I don't like that idea and I was just like really dude really dude so yeah yeah but unfortunately that's kind of where we're at in society you know we're, we're at like that stage of society where we're all just getting lazy and we all just want to get paid to do nothing and everybody looks at famous people, and that's pretty much what famous people do, is they just get paid to do nothing. So everybody wants to become famous for that reason. And it just, it, overall, it has a very negative impact on society. So, yeah, I'm sorry, this episode went a little longer than I wanted it to. But thanks for watching.